to buy cattle there when I was in Pulugwani. I used to have a farm there. I, the father was not always there. The young man was there. Firstly, he couldn't speak in English. Because why? He was born there. He stayed there. He has never been to school. And it's the case with many of them. They only come to town after getting drunk and beat up people and go back to the, uh, uh, to the farms. So before we're even told about a certificate, let them first produce certificates themselves. They do not have. In Skukuni, they were saying, uh, 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 President of Contralesa, some person was saying this Skukuni there that white people do not graduate. They are not even at school. Uh, were the only ones who graduate and all that. And I was telling the person who was sitting next to me that, no, he's talking like this because in their colleges here, and them, it's only black people in those uh, uh, colleges there. There are no white people. Yet there are white people in the farms there. But the people in the schools is only black Africans. So they, these black Africans, since they don't see fellow students in their colleges, they thought, these whites don't go to school to do this thing of agriculture. We're the only ones. <laughs> and they say, no, because we're the only ones who graduate there. We must be the ones who have the land because these whites don't graduate there. We don't even know where they graduate. So those colleges, agricultural colleges in the villages there, do not have white students. It's only black students who must prove through a paper that they can do uh, 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 this thing. So, we are part of the globe. In the EFF, we embrace education. We love education. Uh, uh, we encourage our people to go to school. We, we will take them to school to, to produce certificates to prove that they can work the land. We have no problem with that. But despite that certificate, they will still work the land. Because it is their land, they don't have to prove to anyone that they've got a certificate to work it. They are working it now. They may not produce a at a bigger scale because there are no opportunities. 100 people producing food for millions of people. As a result, they manipulate food prices. Food is very expensive in South Africa. Food is very expensive because the food production is in the hands of the few, and they manipulate it. Let's expand it. We are not going, you can't give food producing farm to Malema who knows nothing about food produce, production. These Africans, these blacks, who are going to be assigned the responsibility of broadening the food production, they themselves will have to pr prove to our own state, the owner of the land, that they will use this land effectively. And if they fail, because we are the owners of the land, we'll go and take it and give to other people who will use it. That's why we want the state to have power over the land. So that if you don't use it for intended purpose, and as a result you starve our economy, we must have the right to take it and give it to somebody else without compensation, because it's our, it's, it's our land. So now we can't do it. Even farmers who are not using productive farms to produce, we can't take their farms because we are going to be told you will be taken to court. And it has to start at magistrate level. Magistrate must say, I'm not, in com I'm not competent enough to deal with this. It must go to regional level. Regional le magistrate court says, no, it's not my level. It must go to high court. Then the high court must rule against us. Then we must do an appeal. The same high court put three judges to listen to it, and then they don't listen to it properly. Then we are aggrieved. We go to the Supreme Court of Appeal, and then we fail at the Supreme Court of Appeal. We must go to the Constitutional Court. By the time you finish, it's five years before you even expropriate 10 hectares. Mm. That's what they want to do. That's why they say the current Constitution allows it. Why? They want to lock you up in that process of appeals so that you can't do anything. So let's, if the current constitution allows it, and we are saying it doesn't allow it, since we agree, let's make it clear, more clear, so that there is no uh, confusion around it. And no one can be dragging us to courts and the courts and the courts when we take the land uh, without compensation.